Hi guys, welcome back to the channel where we spill tea left, right, and everywhere in between. In today's video, we are covering some tea, drama, and some news including Britney Spears deactivating her infamous Instagram account, Trevor Noah speaking out about the Kimye and Pete situation, Kanye West copying an Instagram ban, Tana's bestie Brooke getting completely slammed by Josh Richards, and Jesse Smollett becoming a free man. But before we get into it, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any hot tea, and head over to the hot tea Twitter account where you can follow and send us any tea or topics that you would like to hear covered, including any deep dives. There is a lot to unpack, so get snacked up and let's spill some tea. Britney Spears' Instagram account has been a source of entertainment and inspiration for quite some time now, and since the release from her conservatorship, Britney has been free and wild on her account. She's also kept a large amount of support from her followers and fans through everything. Recently, Britney had been sharing some nude beach pics whilst on vacation with her new fiancé and just honestly living her best life. But somewhere between those pictures and now, Britney's Instagram account has disappeared and apparently she deleted it herself. An insider told Us Weekly that she chose to delete her account just one day after sharing a post about wanting to be quote, feared and not pitied. Britney's fiance, Sam Asghari, still has his Instagram account up, but there's not recent posts or stories featuring Britney as he is likely respecting her privacy. The last post with the two of them on his account was this cute pic about a week ago. The reason for Britney's account deletion is still unknown as of right now, but I think we can all agree that Brit just needs to do her. And if getting rid of her Instagram account is what makes her happy or is what her mental health needs right now, so be it. But we will be missing her posting. While on the topic of Instagram accounts disappearing, Kanye West is on an Instagram timeout for at least 24 hours and not by choice. Kanye is banned from posting and commenting and sending DMs, but I wonder if he's banned from deleting posts. The ban has been brought on apparently due to Kanye violating some terms of service, including what's been going on with Pete and Kim as well as Kanye's recent beef with Trevor Noah. Trevor, the host of The Daily Show, spoke on the Kim slash Ye slash Pete controversy on a recent episode and made some interesting points to say the least. Trevor says that sometimes news stories and celebrity stories and tabloid things cross a line from just celebrity drama type situations into a realm that affects all of us and quote, speaks to larger conversations. He believes the Kim Kardashian, Pete Davidson, and Kanye West situation has evolved into every much that. While it started as something tabloidy, it has now developed into something that should be paid attention to, but quote, not for the reason that you may think. Trevor refers to the recent music video release from Kanye and says that while he understands that Ye has said that this was an art piece and that he doesn't want to actually hurt Pete and that sometimes art is therapy, sometimes therapy is therapy. And to be honest, I'm glad that the topic of the music video has come up again because there were a couple things that I wanted to add to the prior video that we made about this. It's not uncommon for rappers to make tracks dissing people that they have beef with and it is something that's been around forever and will continue to be something that's around in that music industry. But what kind of stood out and was a little disappointing, at least from my perspective, was that this was a song Kanye did with someone else. This is a game song featuring Kanye. So inadvertently or possibly intentionally, the game also now has his name on the beef between Pete and Kanye as well as the Kardashians. And what's more, generally speaking, in the rap industry, when a diss track is made about someone so obviously, it's normally towards someone else in that industry, so there is opportunity for retort. Pete is not a rapper. I mean, you can mention some goofy clips where he has rapped on stage before, sure, but as a profession and as a creator, he's just not. So I think it kind of took that opportunity for a defense or for a response away from Pete. It's like challenging a baseball player to a football game or whatever. It's an even playing field. And I don't think it's the same thing to respond to a diss track with a comedy skit. But anyway, back to the Trevor thing. Trevor continues his segment comparing Kanye's outbursts and apparent artistic expression to Eminem's chick during his rap career and says that the main difference is that Eminem always did that and that Kanye has been open and honest having expressed issues with mental health. Well, leave me to create my art. Yeah, but Kanye, you told us you have problems. Now, when we worry about that, you say we shouldn't worry because 
it's not problems or it is problems, which is it? It puts society in a precarious position. And the reason I say that is because of his harassment of Kim, which I know is crazy to say. Trevor says that yes, while Kim is a celebrity and has built her life around being in the spotlight and in the headlines, there's also this thing happening here, which is basically a woman telling her ex to please leave me alone and it's being ignored. He does not just stay on the side of Pete and Kim or whatever throughout the speech though. Trevor does say that it was a bit ridiculous for Pete to say that he was in bed with Kanye's wife and then proceed to offer help with his mental health. And when all of those text messages were leaked, I kind of thought the same thing. That was just kind of icky. As much as Kanye's behavior has not been cool at all, I think we can all agree that it's obvious his feelings towards Kim are still strong, so that would have really hurt. And some of you may say, well, he has said hurtful things, blah, blah, blah. Yes, okay, I know, but I'm always on the side of two wrongs do not make a right. And just because one person does something bad, it doesn't give you the right to do something bad back. And I think that's something that we should all consider in our day-to-day -day lives. Sorry to preach. <laughs> Trevor says that the situation might feel tabloidy, but it touches on a very serious subject and one that is more serious than a lot of us would like to admit. I know everyone thinks it's a big marketing stunt. Oh, look at the coincidence. Kim is launching a new show. Except two things can be true. Kim likes publicity. Kim is also being harassed. Those things can be happening at the same time. I see a woman who wants to live her life without being harassed by an ex-boyfriend or an ex-husband or an ex-anything. And in my opinion, that statement is very important, and not just because of tea or internet drama, but because of everything in the world. Trevor continues that whether you love or hate Kim Kardashian, this situation sheds a light on what happens with many women, and that some don't tend to leave men like this as that just escalates the crazy levels even higher. He shares his own experiences and says that he himself was brought up in an abusive household and was shocked at how many people back then would tell his mom that she was overreacting. I remember once we went to the police station and they said to my mom, oh, but did you talk back? Is that, is that why you're here? You know, uh, you know, oh, but but what did you say to him? It's all these questions, all these questions. I remember seeing this as a child, by the way. You see this as a child, you know? And then he drops this point, which is just great. Honestly, couldn't have said it better myself. And you see a world where women are questioned for what is happening to them, as opposed to people questioning what is happening to them. Trevor's mother ended up shot in the head, and he says that he is not saying Kanye would do this to Kim, but he's saying that his situation, his mother's situation, seemed like nothing to everyone. That people made excuses and brushed it aside, and this could be why he's looking at this situation differently. He ends his segment saying that if Kim Kardashian, one of the richest and most powerful women in the world, cannot escape her ex, then imagine how hard it is for the average woman. Well, Kanye responded, of course, and wasn't too happy with the things that Noah had to say, apparently. Kanye took to Instagram as he usually does and threw some racist remarks Trevor's way. Ye shared a screenshot of Google's Trevor Noah and captioned the Kumbaya song, but replaced some words with some racial slurs. This was what ultimately ended up with the suspension for Kanye. The post is no longer up, of course, and Trevor hasn't responded, which I kind of don't think that he will, at least not on social media. So Kanye will be quiet, at least on Instagram, for the next 24 hours or so, but we're sure that he'll be back with something else to say on the matter. On to what could be seen as a little lighter content in the hot tea world, Trisha Paytas managed to insert herself in some TikTok drama, of course, and there is quite the reaction. As you may or possibly may not know, there has been quite a bit of drama on TikTok recently surrounding creator Modern Warrior. At this point, it is pretty much cool tea, so we're not going to cover it or anything, but basically this creator and some others have mad beef and it's been the talk of the TikTok town. So of course, naturally, Trisha Paytas has to get herself involved. Her first insertion into this drama was when she posted a video saying that she was shook with all the drama because she thought Modern Warrior was gay, and that's why she followed him in the first place. To be clear, she explains that by saying that it would be weird for her to follow an attractive man on social media as she has a husband. Moving on though, in her initial TikTok, she says that Modern Warrior should have just stuck to his informative TikToks on Native American situations and education and shouldn't have crossed over into calling out misogyny as he was playing women himself. She does say that she is one to talk as she has aired all her dirty laundry on social media. I just... Ugh. I literally just think that she says what she thinks people want to hear and that even that video was just another example of her doing whatever is trending. It's a get ready with me style makeup TikTok with her talking about something and I just can't stand it today. I'm sorry. 
Anyway, she has now inserted herself back in, even though she has claimed to be staying out of the drama and commented on a recent Modern Warrior TikTok saying, RIP frenemies. I think she's sort of maybe hinting at the fact that she and Ethan would have talked about the situation should the podcast have still been alive, or it could also be as simple as the fact that Modern Warrior added text to the TikTok saying, frenemies. Either way, the comment section had plenty to say to Trisha, and honestly, it's really mixed both ways. A lot say, go away, etc. A personal favorite of mine being this one and this one. And someone called her Patricia, which for some reason fully sent me, and I can't explain why, because I'm sleep derived. But honestly, there's a lot of comments saying, yeah, it's Trisha and deceased, so I guess people think she's funny somewhere. People are still always talking about frenemies and they want for the return of frenemies and I think that they really did have something good going on with that podcast. Both Ethan and Trisha have no filter and are not scared to speak their minds and another bonus was that frenemies made it a lot easier to catch Trisha in any lies or inconsistencies. But she's pregnant and should stay as stress free as possible so if dumb comments and stupid TikTok content keeps her that way, live your life Trisha, it's whatever. And now let's talk about Tana real quick, or more specifically her friend and co-host Brooke Schofield getting completely dissed by Josh Richards of the BFFs podcast. And I'm talking to him and I'm like, I'm the biggest BFFs fan ever, like whatever, blah, blah, blah. My friend is with me and she's like, yeah, she has a podcast too, like with Tana. And he literally, I swear to God, he looks at me dead in the eyes and he goes, not gonna lie, I have no fucking idea who you are. Josh! Oh my god, all Brooke wanted was to say that she loved the BFFs podcast. Like, Josh really did not have to do her like that. I think Josh seems a little arrogant, actually, as he's super young and maybe the brinking on the fame thing is going to his head a little bit, but that was just really straight up super rude and completely uncalled for. Brooke is decently well known, and even if she wasn't, why say something like that? She says that she wasn't expecting him to know her, but was really offended by what he said. Brooke does say that he was drunk, but girl, no, that's no excuse. Josh just kind of gives off mean high school boy vibes, and anytime I see a picture of him, I feel like he's bullying me. <laughs> so we love you, Brooke. Josh who? Lastly, let's step back into a little bit more of a serious topic and talk about Jesse Smollett being released from jail already. It feels like it was literally yesterday that we covered the sentence Jesse was handed for, apparently staging a hate crime on himself. But after two of the three justices on the appellate panel decided that Jesse should be released from custody, Jesse just had to pay a bond of $150,000. The panel said that they agreed with the defense that the crime was non-violent and his appeal has been granted. Wednesday night, he walked out of jail, making it just under a week served this time, I believe. And yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed a little bit of tea, a little bit of news, and now for a little bit of eye bleach. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as well as hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos as we do post new tea every single day. Here's some cuteness.